to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I've told a story time, but today we have a... I'm back with another freaking story time, you know what I mean? Um, this is literally going to be part two of the time I almost passed out, choked, and like literally died. <laughs> like literally no joke. Like that was one of the most scariest experiences, and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys today. So let's just get into this crazy video don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel i love you guys so so much and let's just get into this video this takes place maybe a few years ago i want to say maybe i was in middle school maybe eighth grade going into freshman year i don't really remember you know what i mean um but i remember i had a grapes in my hand and me just being the most randomest bored person ever when i get bored i start to do like let's be honest i start to do stupid shit and dumb shit and i get into so many stupid things that I shouldn't even need to get into. But when I'm bored, like, I'm just kind of one of those people that, like, I'm going to get into something and I'm going to make myself unbored if I can anyway. I don't even know if that makes any type of sense. But I remember I was at my grandparents' house and I had these grapes and I was, like, for some reason I was trying to, like, juggle. Lord knows I can't even juggle. You know what I mean? Lord knows I can't even. I'm the type of person I can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Let alone try to juggle something, anything of the sort. You know what I mean? So I have these grapes and I'm just like, hmm, I wonder if I can throw, literally throw them up and catch one in my mouth. Like, this is what I'm talking about, like literally a grape, you know what I mean? Everyone, <laughs> of course you guys know, you guys aren't idiots. Everybody knows what a grape is, you know what I mean? And for me to think that I could literally catch a grape in my mouth, you know what I mean? Let's, mind you, I just told you guys that I'm the most uncoordinated person ever. Like I literally trip over anything. I fall, I drop stuff all the time. If you don't know that, now you know that, um... So for me to honestly think in my head that I was going to be able to catch these grapes in my mouth or thought that it was going to go well or thought that this was somehow going to be the smartest thing to do or the most fun thing to do. Well, honestly, well, let's be honest, it felt like it would be fun at the time, but we'll get into that. I'll tell you guys that, like, mind you guys, my mom, my grandma, and my older cousin were in the living room and I was in the kitchen, so they had, like, obviously had no idea what I was getting into. Plus, like I said, I was on... I'm one of those people anyways that was going to like travel off and just do whatever they wanted to do. So, they were also in the house with me, but they weren't around when this person did a freaking happen. I'm laughing now, but it was literally like the scariest moment, one of the scariest moments in my life. I literally seen my life flash before my eyes. I think that's how it goes. Literally, we're going to, let's just continue. So, I'm in the kitchen and I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to try to catch these in my mouth. I'm going to be a freaking juggler today and I'm going to catch these grapes in my mouth. Or so I thought, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally just such an idiot. You guys, literally, if you guys watch any of my videos, please try to learn something from me and not do anything that I do or say or act at times, you know what I mean? Because it's just, gosh, I don't even know. So, um, I proceed to throw the grapes, and I have three grapes in my hand. So, I proceed to literally throw one of the grapes in my hand, and I'm just like, the first time I miss, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm uncoordinated, I can't catch. So it bounces right out of my mouth. Not even, it doesn't even go in my mouth. It literally bounces off the side of my face. So right there and then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, right there and then is when I should have known to like, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have do this or maybe I'm not the best person to juggle and try to catch things in my mouth. Did I stop, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Did I stop? No, I didn't. I kept going. So I try again. I'm just like, whoa, if I didn't get it the first time, I'm going to try again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try and catch this grape because like I said, I'm going to be a juggler. I'm going to try and catch these grapes in my mouth. So, I literally throw the second grape up in my mouth and I'm, I'm mouth wide open, ready to catch this freaking grape and literally it goes, just slides right down my throat. I know that sounds weird, but it literally went down my throat, you know, and I proceed to freaking choke, you guys. Like, literally, not even choke. I don't even know what. Like, I literally could not even speak. Like, obviously I didn't speak. There was a big, like, grape in the middle of my freaking assault. I don't even know by itself, I guess, in the middle of my freaking throat. So I couldn't scream, I couldn't cry, like I could not literally do anything. Like I literally was panicking. And you know, like when you start to panic, or if you ever like choke before, like began to choke, you know what I mean? You literally just like go into panic mode. There's like fight or flight mode, and literally I just went into complete panic mode, you know what I mean? Like started to freak out, literally was like panicking, you guys, and I'm just like Oh my god, I'm about to choke. Like, I'm literally gonna die on this kitchen floor. Like, I'm literally such an idiot that I literally thought I could catch a grip in my mouth, and now I'm about to just not even be here anymore because I'm literally about to pass out from this freaking grape. So I start panicking and I run over into the sink and I literally am just like trying to swallow at first. Big mistake, you know what I mean? 
literally because this grape would not go down my throat. You guys know what the size of a grape is, and literally it went like directly straight down my throat. You know what I mean? Like scary. So I start to like literally panic, and I can't like scream for my mom. I can't like tell any of my family members or notify them that I'm literally about to choke on this kitchen floor and they're about to find me here because I was such an idiot I thought I could catch these grapes. So I literally started to just like panic. So like I'm trying to swallow this grape, trying to swallow the grape, trying to swallow the grape. <laughs> that sounded so weird. And I cannot swallow this grape for anything in its life. I'm literally just like, I'm literally about to die. So I finally, I'm just like, you know what? Let's try to just put some water in my throat. You know what I mean? And just hopefully this grape will do something because I'm panicking here. You know? It's like over to the sink, you know what I mean? while I was in the kitchen, but, like, I get to the sink, and I literally am just, like, guzzling water from the from the sink down my throat, hopefully, and praying that this grape will slide down my throat, and I literally will not pass out and, like, die and won't be here anymore, you know what I mean? Like, so, I start to do that, and I'm just like, okay, please let this grape literally praying, and still I'm about to pass the freak out, you know what I mean, from this grape, because I'm such an idiot, you know what I mean? I do these things to myself, you guys, like, literally, still, to, if I even think about it to this day, I just, like, freak out. But, like, so I'm just like drinking this water, you know, trying to get this grape to freaking slide down my throat. And it finally slides down my throat, you guys. And I'm literally, I literally just like want to drop to the ground and literally cry and kiss the ground. And just like, you know, it's just like one of those moments like your life flashes before you, I, before, your life flashes before your eyes. And you literally are just like, I'm about to die. Like, whoa, like what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Like literally those were going through my running through my thoughts. I'm like, I am such an idiot to think that I really could like swallow this grape, let alone juggle these grapes and of course it has to go down my freaking throat and I literally almost choke. You know what I mean? And literally I just swallow the grape and it just goes down my throat. You know what I mean? And literally it just is like the biggest relief ever, you guys. Like I know that's, it was the biggest relief ever because it literally was like, I literally thought I was going to die from choking on this freaking grape. You know what I mean? And just like, of course no one could help me because no one could freaking hear me. You know what I mean? Like I had three people in the house and they couldn't even hear me because I'm such an idiot and I couldn't even talk because this grape was literally in my whole throat, you guys, like, literally, I just can never, I will never be able to forget that, that was literally one of the scariest moments of my whole entire life, you know, and I literally cannot speak today, if you guys know or don't know, like, now you know, like, I literally cannot speak, like, at all whatsoever, but, um, like I was saying, like, literally, like, maybe two or three days later, I eventually tell, like, my mom, and then they're like, hey, like, I almost choked on the floor and died from a grape, and they're just literally like, we had no idea, like, what the fuck, like, we literally had no idea you were choking, I'm like, I know, because I literally could not speak, like, it was literally stuck in my throat, so of course I didn't speak, and then, if, like, of course we, like, laugh about it, like, it's, like, honestly not a laughing matter, like, it's honestly is, looking back now, I can kind of laugh about it, but, like, in the moment of it happening, of course I didn't laugh, and of course, like, it was literally, like, and still was one of the scariest moments of my life, you guys, that was just crazy, and literally to this day, I will never forget that. I'm just like, what on earth was running through my mind to think that I could literally juggle, let alone catch slippery grapes inside of my mouth? Like, who does the things that I do? Nobody. This is why these things happen to me, because I'm such a freaking idiot, and I don't listen, and I just do things because I was, like, bored and wanted some entertainment. Well, there was my entertainment, me literally about to choke and die. Much as this quick little story time of the time I literally almost choked and died. I never did that again. I promise you, I never even thought about juggling, never picked up anything to juggle or thought I was gonna catch anything in my mouth other than just me putting food in my mouth with a like fork slightly like this. <laughs> um, I never wanted to juggle again. I never thought I was gonna be a juggle with the circus. It was over for me. I wasn't gonna be in the circus. I don't even know if that makes sense, but like, I don't know. Like, it was literally like one of the most scariest traumatic moments of my life. I'll never forget the time that I literally almost choked on a grape because I'm an idiot and I was bored and I literally thought that was going to be or solve any type of entertainment and it wasn't entertainment. It wasn't fun. Like I said, I can laugh at it now, but it's like that was just not a fun time for me, not a fun moment, not something I ever would want to live through again or relive through again, even though I literally almost choked on iced coffee. And I told you guys that story time. And like I said, I'm going to link that down below for you guys because that was another time where I was just an well, that, you guys just need to go check that one out, too. But I wanted to make a part two of this time because, like, literally, it didn't get any better than the first. Like, obviously, it didn't get any better, you idiot, because you were literally about to choke. But, like, if you guys learn anything from me, don't juggle. And if you do juggle, do it with a professional or take some classes or something. Don't do graves and don't try to catch them in your mouth. I promise you it's not going to work. Learn it from me. I'm an idiot. Don't do what I do. And that pretty much ends the story, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this story time. I'm definitely back with some story times coming. Um, they're super exciting. I love doing them. I've loved to always tell you guys story times. I feel like that's kind of where I started on the channel was kind of just, well, not started, but really 
was going hard with story times and I still have a lot of story times to tell you guys so those are coming in the future I hope you guys like this video like always like comment subscribe to my channel I love you guys so so much definitely comment down below any other story times you want to know or comment down below a time you almost choked and want to tell me about it because I definitely want to know about it even though it's the scariest thing we could any of us could go through you know what I mean one of the scariest things I'm gonna shut up I love you guys so so much and I will see you in the next video bye guys